This is Duke University. When we think about water, many experts will tell you that that is probably the most significant problem facing humanity in the coming decades. Whether it's due to climate change or population growth or pollution, the issue that's going to hit most severely on people from in all forms of, of life and all lev levels of economic affluence will be the availability of water, the availability of clean water. We use a computer model specifically developed for Durham with 78 years of stream flow, evaporation and precipitation data. And it gives us a, a risk of failure uh, scenario. And actually right now the model says that we have a 100% chance of meeting our demand through the end of April. But then, <laughs> that's why we're here. If we're going to get our citizens, our industries, Duke University to value water, uh, we're going to have to charge more what it's worth. And um, I believe we can learn really just around our state. Greensboro, Cary, Orange Water, and Sewer have put in these conservation pricing uh, rate structures and have a year-round focus on water conservation, and they're working. Those communities are in better shape than Durham and, and uh, Raleigh and many other cities in North Carolina. Recently, we announced a $5 million initiative uh, to support programs for water conservation. As a part of that initial uh, uh, program, uh, we, we had a, um, a low flow shower head uh, giveaway program for faculty, staff, and students, and I can happily report all 5,000 of those shower heads have been taken. We've ordered more. Um, and our notion is that uh, our faculty and staff live in the community, and that's in addition to the reductions that Duke is doing on campus. Some years with climate change, we're likely to get a little bit more rain than normal. That's a pretty general prediction. And that's because warmer air evaporates more water, and that water recycles back to the planet. But other years, perhaps like this one, we're going to get a lot less rain. And any time your temperatures are hotter than they were before, you have more evaporation from the land and your drought is worse, just as any farmer knows. So that's the link with climate change. That's what makes climate change no longer just an abstraction in our lives, but the kind of things that we have to think about long term. Sometimes when you hear the statement, well, there have been more severe droughts in the past, say 100 or 150 years ago, the implication is we don't need to worry, and I don't think that's at all the case. It's very different today. We've got a couple of million people, I think, probably in this area. We didn't have a couple of million people in the area 100 years ago. And our ability to deal with a severe drought is much, much less as a result. So the fact that bad climate occurred in the past is no reason to say it's not a big problem in the future. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.